everybody and welcome to Doctor Who Review. I'm your host, Morgan McAvoy, and today we will be talking about Episode 6 of Season 10 of Doctor Who, Extremists. Now, if you haven't seen the episode, then you might want to stop watching. Because remember, spoilers. The episode starts in a flashback with the Doctor and a group of executioners going to an island. The Doctor is expected to kill Missy, but it's pretty obvious that he doesn't since it's revealed that she's in the vault, and since we heard piano playing coming from the vault a few episodes ago, it's pretty clear that she's not dead. When it was revealed that Missy was in the vault, I was really happy because that meant I was right! The Doctor is in his classroom when a group of priests show up and tell him that the Pope needs his help. They show him a document called the Veritas and tell him that everyone who's ever translated it ends up killing themselves, but there's one translator missing. I really liked the doctor's glasses that he was using to kind of see what was going on around him, since he can't actually see because he's still blind. Bill is on a date with a girl named Penny when the doctor shows up with the Pope, which causes Penny to leave. And to be honest, I didn't really blame Penny for leaving. I mean, I think for anyone that would be in this situation, if you didn't know who the doctor was and the Pope showed up out of nowhere, you'd be a little bit freaked out. It then goes into a flashback and the doctor is about to kill Missy when a priest shows up and tells him that his late wife River Song wouldn't approve. It's then revealed that the priest is Nardle which explains how the Doctor and Nardle got together. Based on Bill's foster mother's reaction, it's clear that she doesn't know that Bill is gay, which makes me wonder when she'll find out, or if she'll ever find out. Nardle asks the Doctor why he's keeping it a secret from Bill that he's blind, and the Doctor says that he doesn't want Bill to worry. But then Nardle says that it's because once the doctor tells Bill, it'll make it real. Then they start walking around the library. In a flashback, Missy asks the doctor to help her become good. Back in the library, they see a light and it's some kind of portal and it's pretty clear that there's something inside it, but then it closes and it's just a wall. They then find a priest in a cage, and he tells them he sent it, and then runs away. They see on his computer that the priest got an email from CERN, and it says, pray for us, and they realize that the priest sent them the translation of the Veritas. And considering their email says, pray for us, it can't be good. The doctor sends Bill and Nardal to check on the priest after they hear a gunshot. They find his body, and then the light of the portal comes back, and they go to see what it is. The doctor is scanning the Veritas into his brain, and you can see that someone, or something, is coming towards him. Then in a flashback, Missy tells the doctor that she is his friend, and then he seems to kill her. Bill and Nardle find a bunch of portals, one of them leading to CERN. <laughs> I thought Bill and Nardle's reaction when they found out they were in the Pentagon was really funny. The doctor is starting to see a little bit better, and he sees some kind of creatures, and he's able to get away from them, but then they find him again, and he goes into a portal. Bill and Nardle realize that the people at CERN are planning to blow the building up, but they're able to get out of there in time. Nardle then realizes that the portals are just projections and none of it is real, and then he puts his hand in the simulation and it's revealed that Nardle isn't real either. Bill then goes into another portal to try and find the doctor. I thought Nardle's reaction when he found out that he wasn't real was kind of funny. The doctor tells Bill about the holographic simulations that the aliens created and how the deaths weren't suicides, they were people escaping. 
Bill then disappears, and it's revealed that she wasn't real. One of the creatures tells the doctor that the doctor isn't real, and they're about to kill the doctor, when the doctor sends a message to himself using his glasses, and then the real doctor calls the real Bill and tells her to call Penny, so they can make everything that didn't actually happen, happen? It's kind of confusing, and I was kind of shocked when it was revealed that the majority of this episode didn't actually happen. The doctor talks to Missy in the vault and tells her that he's going to need her help. Then in a flashback, it's revealed that the doctor obviously didn't kill Missy, and he has Nardle help him bring her to the vault. <laughs> I thought it was really funny when the executioners all ran away when they realized how many people the doctor has killed. It was like, yeah, we're just gonna go. Bye! <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know in the comments what you thought about the episode. And also let me know if you were right about what was in the vault. Bye!